I'm really trying something new with the hair this week. Hi guys, I hope you had a good Christmas, relaxing week before New Year's. I wanted to make a video prepping for 2024. Starts on a Monday this year, it's so satisfying. I love a new year, I love a fresh start. I'm not a big resolution person, but I'm a huge mood board girly. I'm sure no one's surprised by that. I make a mood board every single year, and this year I wanted to switch it up and make a physical mood board or like a scrapbook situation. I don't know, I went to the craft store, I'll show you guys what I got. Not gonna lie, my recent trip home kind of inspired this because I used to scrapbook in high school and I had like five that I was able to go through and I just loved it. I feel like the art of physical photos is just no longer a thing and it's so special to have. So I got a scrapbook and Canon actually sent me some printers like a while ago and I wanna use that to make a scrapbook and then also a vision board for the new year in this i only got a few things because scrapbook stuff is so overpriced it's so expensive so i got some like washi tape and some pens so we're gonna have a crafty vlog i'm gonna probably do this later tonight Whoa. We went to the mall because Lauren had to return some stuff and Aritzia was having their winter sale. So I got some things that I might regret. I've had my eye on these Lindsay's. The only size they had was a 2XS, but I swear Aritzia sizing is like, does not make sense. Like this is a small. I'm going to try it on. Maybe not right now, but I got the lavender onesie and then you know i love a good fleece so i got a matching lavender fleece which i love this color i was telling my hair girl today like my hair looks so dark and she told me to get like a new purple shampoo and then something to get rid of the hard water like mineral buildup so i got this from color wow i saw this on tiktok and it looked like it worked i'm gonna use it in real time and like show you guys the results and see if it's worth it okay just quickly tried everything on because you can't return sale items so that's why i was a little nervous but this fits like a small it's so soft and comfy and then i love the fleece i love that it's like cropped it matches. This is such a cute little Pilates outfit. I set up one of the printers. This was way easier than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be such a pain. I have one that's wireless and then this one is connected to a cord, but the photos are bigger. So I'm gonna use both of them. I was just looking at the app. You guys, I can print bookmarks. I'm gonna go ahead and print some photos for my mood board. Okay, I printed one for just the scrapbook. I wanted to test it out. I didn't want to waste it on like a Pinterest photo. Now I'm kind of rethinking what I'm doing. Oh my God, the quality is insane. It's like so, I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was crazy, like, wow. So I don't waste a bunch of quality photos. I'm going to use like this little shuffle layout. I love that they have this option so I don't have to waste a bunch of paper. This is what I have so far for my mood board. I want to write down like some manifestations and intentions, but I want to give myself a little more time to like think about it and not just like do it because I want to be done with it. I'm not gonna lie, I've been dreading the end of the year because everyone's posting their yearly recaps and I feel like this year was such an in-between year for me. I don't feel like it was necessarily bad, but it wasn't necessarily like 
great. I feel like something in me this year just needed to rest and I can definitely see the positives from that. I feel like I have a new energy going into the new year and I've just been working on myself and just really focusing on myself the past few months where I feel like just really ready for the new year and I have a new mindset about it. I feel more grateful and just appreciative for everything and that's the energy that I want to bring into 2024. I don't have like any crazy goals besides just continue to better myself. I do have a few like business things that I want to do now that I feel mentally better. So Lauren and I really want to move. We want to get a new apartment in a different area of San Diego, which I'm really excited about that. I really hope that everything works out and I was thinking there's like two things that if I don't do I'm gonna be really upset about and that's a trip to New York we have been talking about this since we started dating and adopting a kitten we have been looking for so long and if we don't have it by 2025 that is such an iconic year 2025 if we don't have a kitten and we haven't been to New York, I'm talking to you, future Jamie and Lauren, what are you doing? But yeah, I think mood boards are just fun and it's a way to like appreciate the new year and celebrate without putting too much pressure on yourself. Like I'm not making these crazy resolutions that will stress me out. I think it's just holding yourself accountable to certain things and it kind of like romanticizes it. And I'm really excited to continue to scrapbook and like add photos to this. I love physical photos. Like my parents have shoe boxes filled with photos and I want to start that tradition. And I think it would help me take more photos in the moment with people. I have a tendency to take photos of like things and places like aesthetics and i think it's important to take photos of people so. so that's another goal of mine this year okay i wanted to show you guys my hair after using that color wow product i tried to get a clip of my hair before and i feel like it actually made a difference so this is supposed to filter out the minerals that are in tap water that dull your hair and it definitely worked we actually have a shower filter so i think we might need to replace that because it made a big difference here's the product it is the dream filter for color perfect hair from color wow i am really happy with this i want to try some more of their products because i'm impressed Okay, I want to make the bedroom more cozy. We're starting with the sheets. I got these on Amazon. I'm going to link them. They're really affordable for the quality. Like, they're really soft. And I love the color. I think our bedroom just needs some color. It's so bland. I put on my little Aritzia outfit I got yesterday. I'm obsessed. This is so cozy. I feel like I'm in, like, a little winter town but i've been craving the matcha we got yesterday so we're gonna go back <laughs> Okay, so there's a high surf warning and everyone is outside watching the wave. Got two vintage New Yorker. Originals. This one is Lauren. That yes. one is me. Cute. Now we need to find some frames. Okay, I got this smaller printer set up and you guys, the photos out of this one are so cute. They're like little Polaroids.
here's the damage I did so far. So I made a page for our apartment and we got our couch. I want to write on everything, but I'm, I'm nervous. Like I'm trying not to be too clean. I want it to just be messy and like whatever I'm doing in the moment. I'm not trying to make it perfect. It's really just for fun and like for memories. And then these are from my birthday when we went to Laguna. I hope I'm not alone in this, but I've been saying for so long I need a hobby. I think as an adult, there just aren't enough hobbies for us. And I feel like this is my new hobby. I love that it's like something with my hands. I'm feeling creative. I want to get more like stickers and things. So it's actually more than just photos. But I love thinking about future me just looking at this and maybe my kids one day like that's so special and I kind of wish I didn't do the mood board on the first page but it's fine it's my it's my scrapbook there's no rules but it's so cute getting ready now we're going to dinner for Lauren's dad's birthday we're going to the spot downtown that's really good it's herb and wood and we went one time and it was the best pizza so very excited i just fixed up my makeup do my lips and then switch out my purse okay i'm still obsessed with this clarins lip oil it makes your lips so pink i just didn't style my hair today and i kind of like it i feel like the shorter hair looks better straight i've given up on the curls Okay, it's been a cozy, rainy morning. You can probably hear the rain. I've just been making mood boards. I wanted to make a wallpaper for my desktop. I do this every year. This is my 2024 vision board. I love how it turned out. I get the photos from Pinterest and I use Canva. And I'm trying something new. I got this idea from Kendall K. She's also a YouTuber and i love her content but she does this every month it's just a monthly mood board and i set it as my phone background i like this idea because it keeps you on track of just smaller goals you might have for the month i honestly love that vision boards are becoming so popular i think it's such a fun way to visualize your year and i'm just a very visual person so photos really help me I'm constantly on Pinterest, so I don't know if you guys haven't made a vision board yet, you definitely should. I had some avocado toast this morning and now I'm having a little snack before we go to Lofty. I'm gonna get a matcha. I'm craving matcha right now. Been in a matcha phase if you haven't noticed. Like take breaks from matcha and Back in it. Okay, it's New Year's Day. I thought I would do a little grocery snack haul because we got a bunch of snacks for New Year. We don't really have plans. We're just going to chill at home and have a fun little night. We got our favorite kombucha, lemon berry. It's the best flavor. Got some crackers. I might make a charcuterie board. So I also got some apples for that. Gotta make some more dates because we ate all of them. Here are the chip selection. And then we went back to Parakeet today. I didn't even film it because we are so bad. If we like something, we overdo it and it's a problem. But we are both craving the hot sauce, so we bought it. And this is their house made salsa or hot sauce that they have so good i can't wait to eat this i'm gonna make my avocado toast at home because parakeet is just very pricey i also went to lulu because they're having their sale and i wasn't gonna get anything 
but I'm just obsessed with pink right now and this is on sale a little sports bra I was gonna try to clean today and I just really don't feel like it so tomorrow we'll take the tree down we're definitely we take the tree down on the first of the year we don't do it like right after Christmas but by the first I'm just over it I've just been editing the vlog I have my little emotional support potato helping me okay we're having kombucha in a wine glass because that's the vibe it's new year's eve by the way i noticed while i was editing i said it was new year's day honestly doesn't feel like new year's i don't know if it ever really feels like new year's i never go out on new year's eve and i think that's honestly fine i think when I was younger, I felt so much FOMO about it and like pressure to be going out and having plans. But like, if you want to stay in on New Year's and wake up just like feeling refreshed, that's okay too. First sunrise of 2024. Okay, time to try the hot sauce. It's more like a chili oil. New Year's Day, we've just been cleaning. We got rid of the Christmas tree and we're manifesting with a money tree. The apartment feels so clean without the tree. I've just been editing the vlog. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because we're probably not gonna do much today, but I'm gonna start a new one this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to wish you all a happy new year and I love you.